Dr. Sella here, and the only reason you should be running belly in the triple option offense, if you're going to run it at all, the only reason you're supposed to run it is versus a scrape exchange. Number one takes the dive, the backer runs over the top to take the quarterback or the pitch. Usually it's the quarterback, so maybe he comes that way. And then number two takes the pitch. That's the only reason you should ever run belly. When Army runs belly, because they're really the only team that still runs it, now, belly G is a different story, but the belly play, the whole design is basically to beat a scrape exchange versus a 4-2. So what happens is number one takes the dive, Mike runs himself out of the play. So what happens is he gets his left knee, left forearm, four inch northbound steps versus the A-gap player. He high pressure controls the C-gap player. The A-back leads through and then there's no Mike there because he's taking the quarterback He'll continue on to the safety. Quarterback reverses out, hands the ball to the B-back because there's nobody there. That's the whole reason why you run the belly. It's a zone belly. That's the only reason you should ever run the belly. If you're if you're if you're if you love the belly that much, just get into heavy and run the down, also known as the belly G. That's it. So the only time Army does it is basically to beat the scrape exchange versus a 4-2 because they know the backer's going to run himself out of the play. Quarterback reverses out, hands the ball to where the backer isn't. That's it. That's it. If you're that in love with it, like I said, get into heavy, run the down, also that is the belly G, and then it becomes more holistic and all-encompassing. Said my piece.